so how are you currently so I, I did see something in here about um previously you were managing the prefixes and all the bo uh, all the the wine stuff using shell commands so th this agent is if i'm understanding it correctly a replacement to doing it through that method exactly mm -hmm. so you were saying the that the shell commands sort of have issues with the file path conversion obviously there's that performance issue is there anything else that's a problem with doing it through the shell command method or did you mostly touch on what the problem was no uh, no there are many issues like uh, <laughs> double quotes escaping quotes escaping special character because mm, in bot boss if you are if you enable game scope game mode mango hud and xbk with some flex uh, etc mm -hmm. the final command will be a set of environment variable with game scope uh, which requires some arguments which must uh, execute the final command using double quotes which use game mode which use the final executable there are quotes inside quotes with other quotes and argument with argument with other command because of that argument the final command in bottles right now is something you really don't want to see. <laughs> I Quite have, confusing. I've worked with much simpler commands than that, and it's already something I don't want to see. That that does not sound fun to work with. I can understand no. wanting to move away from that. I spent like uh, years. Uh, around this problem and no no so stop using shell commands as I can please <coughs> yeah uh, I think we can uh, we can we can agree on that so would this wine bridge have any actually we'll phrase that a different way do this shell command method have any limitations for what is possible that Winebridge makes possible? Or is it just that it's a a lot easier to work with? Uh, Winebridge allows to perform async, uh, async calls mm -hmm. because Winebridge is asynchronous and you can execute multiple commands without freezing the interface, without freezing uh, the operation. Mm -hmm. So you can ask the WineBridge to run this executable and another executable, open uh, Wine configuration, uh, register a keys, everything at the same time, and that will manage the queue. So if you ask uh, WineBridge to kill the server, so kill the Wine prefix, close every process which is running inside the Wine prefix, Mm -hmm. uh, but you also ask it to execute a command and another command, um, I mean, a program and another program or registering a keys, etc. Winebridge manages the, the queue. So it say, okay, you are asking me to kill. That's not a force kill. Mm -hmm. That's just a stop operation. So I will end all my registration for the keys in the wine registry. Mm -hmm. which is a, an hard task. You can't simply kill the, this operation because you could simply uh, break this, the, the wall prefix. And when those are uh, completed, you can say, oh, okay, I can stop. Mm -hmm. And that's probably the, the best thing in using WineBridge. So that, I would imagine, is a big part of the performance improvement you get. So by mm. not having to wait one by one for each command or each section of the command to run, it just naturally allows things to be a lot quicker. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another thing that you said that you heavily rely on is Python, and that is also 
from my understanding, not going to be a big part... Uh, is not going to be a, a part of the back end anymore, if I understand correctly. Yeah, we are dropping Python in the whole project. So what were you using Python for before then? Uh, Python was used for everything, the interface, uh, backend, uh, everything. Mm -hmm. And right now we are switching to, of course, Vue.js, TypeScript, Electron, etc. But the backend uh, is brought in uh, using uh, Go language. Why Go? What what about Go was appealing? Because let it go. <laughs> is, is that it? Forgot me, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, Go as um a nice learning curve mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we had um, we need a performant language yeah for bottlenecks with uh, a go language as the go routine mm -hmm. which simplify asynchronous task a lot uh, because we are we need a lot of asynchronous code inside the application we said okay just use go which can be compiled, so we can compile the whole backend inside a single binary without dependencies of any kind. Um, and there's a very good learning curve, so new users can join the project without finding barriers or obstacles of any kind. Mm. I've I personally mean, not used Go myself. Um... Was this a language you previously had experience with? Or is this something that you were, you know, learning for this? Uh, in, fact, in my company, we use uh, Go a lot, but right. the, the whole Vanilla OS project is built using Go. Every utility, every root topics, etc. are all built using uh, Go. That makes sense then. <laughs> 